It's your last chance to check everything off your list at NFM. Get savings in every department. Shop in-stock gifts like toys, electronics, appliances, and furniture. NFM gift cards make amazing presents. Save time with drive through pickup. Get 30-month financing on qualifying appliance, TV, and audio purchases. And 24-month financing store-wide at NFM. Store closing early Christmas Eve and close Christmas. Visit NFM for your chance to win a Tesla Model Y. Minimum monthly payments required. 18% APR. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. It'll be the day we leave. <laughs> this is a Bramble Jam <laughs> podcast. Hey, everybody. I'm Brian, and I love... <laughs> Do you? <laughs> when Call Saul Hart. Don't lie. Hey, I would never. Hey, it's it's a panda. And I like When Calls the Heart. Hey, everybody. It's Dan, and I despise When Calls the Heart. And this is the Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark Deck Podcast. Deck the Hallmark Podcast. Yeah. Yes, everybody. Oh, oh man. We're back. Woo! Just Ooh, when you thought. When calls the heart. When calls the heart. Jack Jack what? Spencer Mary. When calls the heart. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. When calls the heart. We're back now. When calls the heart. What? What? Let now? me tell you a little story about Hope, Hope Valley. <laughs> if you love all things great, yeah. it's going to be up your alley. Alley. You know why? Because Jack and Liz back in the shed doing that biz. You know about Lee and Rosemary. They're not doing anything. They're married. No. Been for a long time. Mm. Been for a while. Mm. Got to sit mm. still. Mm. Go to the style. Sit it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, mm. Take it, new M. Take it. Mm, 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 mm. Look at Bill. He's out there doing his thing. <laughs> got his gun, <laughs> shooting things. Got that kid. He's <laughs> got glaucoma. <laughs> He's probably need some glasses soon. You just started just basically reading the plot synopsis, <laughs> new M. <laughs> well, well, Little M. New M. I couldn't M. help but notice, but you were kneeling. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about that. And we specifically asked you not to. I'm Gosh, letting my politics be known. How good was that halftime show? That was uh, so oh my gosh. freaking good. Anytime we can leave a halftime show and clear, say just unequivocally 50 Cent was the be- the worst part. Yeah. That's how you know it was a great halftime show. And he was in 50's 50 defense. Cent hung upside down and recreated defense. the music video to end the club. Yeah. Worst part of the evening. Yeah. I love that... Uh, Snoop taking a puff before going on stage has made news. I like, know. How was that shocking to anybody? I, I didn't hear that. I just assumed that. There's video of him like kneeling on the on the little staircase inside the stage, which, by the way, was a dope setup. Uh, and he just goes does, does a little something. And it's like, yeah, I assume probably while it was going on, too. Yeah. That's, yeah it's that's, Snoop. Yeah. <laughs> that's part of the deal. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, but new him. Uh, you, did you not get the invite, buddy? What happened? What happened New? I think you guys don't understand what happened. But I, I want to be clear. If we take, <laughs> if we take your origin back to the roots, yeah, your claim is that uh, <laughs> New M. <laughs> He'll explain himself. <laughs> They tried to invite me, but then I said, yeah, no, that's not what I'm going to do, y'all. <laughs> they offered me some money, and I said, not enough. And they said, here's some more, and I said, still not enough. Not then enough. Then they said, hey, hey we can get hey. Eminem. <laughs> and I said, go ahead, bitch, you won't. And they did. <laughs> and just for clarification for you censors at home. He said, bet, bet, bet you bet won't. Bet you won't. Bet you won't, is what he said. <laughs> That's going to be very clear there. Um, you got stuck in the little, uh, new M got stuck in the na, na, ya, na yas there, bro. No, it's a phase that he's going through right now. The it's very experimental. Phase. Yeah, bet you won't. <laughs> bet you won't. They did, though. Oh, uh, oh, man. Did you say horse? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Wow! All right, y'all. We when ready? calls the heart? Uh, season five, episode six. Uh, love and marriage. Uh, originally aired on. Uh, Woo. Uh, <laughs> Woo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bill Avery, give him something to do. Yeah. Rosemary making bad eggs. Yeah. <laughs> originally aired on March twenty fifth. Pedals on the steps. Yeah. 2018. Glaucoma, y'all. 
2018! <laughs> yeah! Benny, 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 back from all you, Benny! Uh, yeah, uh, it's Benny! Benny, how you doing, buddy? I'm so good, you ain't really left in my spirit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I was a little down in the dumps, but after hearing those bars, I'm ready to start again! <laughs> Why were you so down in the dumps? I bet big on Doge. Oh, oh, you and me both, oh. pal. You and me both. <laughs> How much? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right. He said he didn't want to talk about it. I don't really I know. Heard it. Yeah, no. We're supposed to do. Literally, let's keep his spirits up. I love you, him. You in 2018? No, y'all. <laughs> That's mad skills right there. <laughs> 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 New mm. him on the track. Benny, new him, y'all. Mm. Collab. Collab. Mm. Collab. Hit him. Hit him. 2018's where it's all at. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I love new him in the y'all face. Mm. I don't want him in any other all day. Mm. 2018 forever. Mm. 2018. Bad Boy Entertainment collaborations. <laughs> to the what purse. To the <laughs> <laughs> To the person did, out did, there. Did Diddy just come in with <laughs> did, did did Bad Boy Entertainment collab with New M yeah. and Benny? Yeah. I'm telling you, he's going places. He's going places. What Dang. were you gonna say, Brand, to the person that to the person that wrote that uh just very mean spirited review about how we don't like our jobs anymore? Yeah, there was a one story review about how we don't like our jobs anymore. What Panda. you could not be more wrong. <laughs> Wait, they, we Benny knew M. We've never been better. We've never been better. <laughs> we don't like our. But, but according to some rando on iTunes who used to love us, oh. we don't like our jobs anymore. No, <laughs> if, we, if we did what you wanted us to do, we wouldn't like our jobs anymore. Oh. Hey, we're here on episode three hundred oh. of One Calls the Heart. How's this movie different uh, than the other oh. movies? It is. It is. It is. No, no. One Calls the Heart mm. is so great. Oh, Jack is man, awesome. So and awesome. Elizabeth, they look at each other. And how about Lee and Rosemary? They're gonna live They're a lot of fun. Why well, don't I go yeah. jump off a bridge now, Benny? <laughs> Benny. That's how I feel, <laughs> Benny. <laughs> Benny New M. I need to say gold. nothing more. Doesn't get better. March 25th, 28th, you did a little something like this. Our sweet couple is married. <laughs> Jack makes Elizabeth <laughs> some eggs, burnt some bacon, and they're preparing for their honeymoon. 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 <laughs> honeymoon. <laughs> uh, let's to go to honeymoon. Chicago. You know what they're known for, that apple pie. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Call back to Tuesday. That's right. Everybody. I hate my job. <laughs> Rosemary and Lee are having breakfast too. Lee's not li <laughs> Lee's not listening again, that little rascal. <laughs> he always over there reading his newspaper like a guy. <laughs> Frank takes Abigail fishing because the way to Abigail's heart is through water sports like fishing <laughs> and or crew. Rosemary sees a little <laughs> Rosemary sees Elizabeth and Jack all lovey-dovey and gets sad that she's married to the stick in the mud. Robert starts to bully kids that can't play baseball very well. <laughs> Gosh, Robert. Uh, there's this uh, like a, a, a yard sale, something like that. Rubbish sale. Rubbage? Uh, a rubbish. You mean rummage? No. <laughs> what is this you rubbish? Rubbage. Rubbage, like people's rubbish. That sounds like a creepy guy asking for a back massage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> baby, can I get some rubbage? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel right. Uh, no. This girl gets a coat and finds a love note inside the pocket. So she brings it to Bill, thinking that he could <laughs> help her. And he gets offended when she points out that he doesn't do anything all day long. She's correct. Yeah, what's um, wild is. <laughs> Elizabeth recreates their first dinner day complete with children standing around watching them dance. Uh, but uh, bad news, the bank is going to take back the land that Jack bought and is building the house on. Banks are wild. Banks got a bank. Uh, bank guy says, pay off what you owe in seven days or I'll take it back. Frank tells Abigail that he's going to preach a sermon 
on doing nothing out of selfish ambition and to put others ahead of yourself. And she claims it's her favorite verse. Well, now, I always... Never mind, go ahead. <laughs> she loves that verse. <laughs> Gowan's back, y'all. He's got a limp. <laughs> what happened? He's been in with a few shells. What's going on? <laughs> Uh, Abigail, uh, he's uh, try, he's like, listen, I'm still trying to fi- find a way to fix this financial situation. Florence finds out, and she uh, like goes off on her. What like, how the machines? What are they doing? Uh, we don't need to get into the. Uh, um, the dog days are over. Over. Dog days are oh gone. Um, and she's like, I can't believe you're trusting this guy. And she's like, well, everything's gonna be good. Just trust me here. And they hug. Robert. Makes fun of a kid with glasses. God, Robert. And then Robert seems shocked to find out that it's not nice. (laughs) (laughs) Rosemary tries to make a point about their marriage seeming stale, but Lee just wants hot (laughs) breakfast. (laughs) Abigail gives the banker a speech about doing what's honorable And and right. Yeah. When it comes to money, especially. Yeah, I just, I, 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 I was being. Just they the write best. the material for us. Uh, I mean, I, you know. Turns out Philip, uh, with the glasses, has glaucoma, as you heard from <laughs> New M. Uh, <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> they need to get him to a specialist or he can lose his eyesight. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> glaucoma is not what I thought it was. Enough of you guys. Enough of you guys. Uh, Lee, so, oh, Lee does good things it's again. Up with New Emma 2018. <laughs> Lee surprises Rosemary, Rosemary with a very romantic dinner. Jack, it's bad news. He's been given a Mountie assignment and he'll be gone for two months. But it's not going to be dangerous. They just need to postpone their honeymoon. Elizabeth says, I'll go with you. And he says, okay. Frank is going to take Philip and never come back. Helping kids is his calling, and him and Abigail kiss because Abigail understands what it's like to help kids. Uh, The banker tells Jack that he's not taking his land, and Elizabeth and Jack ride off out of town at sunset, and that, my friends, was when calls the heart, love, and marriage. We did it. We did it, everybody. Congratulations. We Let's take a quick it. break. Mm. We'll be right back. We'll talk about this episode here on Check the Hallmark. <laughs> okay, it sounds like we're here. <laughs> yeah. Let's do yeah, this thing, boy. everybody. We're Wind talking. the heart, y'all. <laughs> Wind calls the heart. Uh, love and marriage. Let's talk about it. We start with the hot take where we share exactly how we felt about this episode of television. TV, pictures moving on screen. Let's start with you, Panda. What'd you think when calls to heart, love, and marriage? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, it happened. We, uh, we got to go to Hope Valley yet again. Uh, Philip, hope he doesn't lose his eyesight. He won't. Oh, no. Uh, Jack's going to die soon. That's kind of sad. Yep. Um, And it looks like he's going to, his land is being threatened, but I, you know, just get a gut feeling that probably won't happen either. And uh, in other words, what we just saw was uh, (laughs) felt felt kind of like a filler episode there again. No, not after the big wedding. It's sad that we're losing Frank. I like Frank. Frank he was back good. for like one episode. I forgot he was gone until last uh, week. Yeah, well, I mean, but w- once he comes back, you're like, oh, man, it's good having Frank back. Is it? <laughs> was it great to have Frank back? I liked Frank. Okay. I couldn't, I forgot why he left. Yeah. I, I'm still unclear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he helps it's kids. about children, right? Yeah. He helps kids. Well, see, that's that's great. And that's why he can't stay. There's that's no right. kids to help in Hope Valley. He helps kids. Yeah, man, you know, I uh, try I try to defend against these two, uh, you know. <laughs> Naysayers. Uh, just monsters. 
there is, there's only so much that your boy can do. <laughs> this is a tough. This is a tough one. It's, mm, it's a tough one. Yeah. You know, and it's even tougher. It's even tougher <laughs> knowing. It's even tougher knowing that Jack's getting ready to die, and this is what they did. Yeah. Yeah. On one of his last episodes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they came up with. And I'll just say this. And I know I've said that I'm not the biggest Lee and Rosemary fan, but Ooh. I cannot do this again. <laughs> Ever. I cannot do that. I can't, I can't keep doing this thing. <laughs> Where Rosemary's mad the whole episode, and then Lee, he's acting like he's not caring or listening the whole episode, and at the end, he's like, oh, here we are. I was listening. I just chose to keep you miserable all week long. I cannot do this again. I know I will, but I cannot. And I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, but I missed the wedding planning. <laughs> like, bring back the ridiculous, over-the-top bride and groom, don't want it, mind your own business, meddling wedding planning. Ugh. This is embarrassing. It is so bad. Like, the show just has nowhere to go and all day to get there. Like, Bill is off on some, like, Kids show somewhere <laughs> like he's he's just the the Bill girl and the little girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's is he in like is he like auditioning for a, like an Angels in the Outfield sequel? <laughs> like what is Bill Avery doing ever in this show? But in this episode, he thinks he's doing some gruff exterior. Oh my gosh, kids movie, and that plot line is the best part of this episode. Yeah. Bill Avery and a little girl finding the owner of a note, and it is just scraping the bottom of the barrel as bad, is better than anything else we get in this episode. Holy cow, Lee and Rosemary. Please stop talking. Both of you stop talking. Just stop. Stop talking. Stop talking. I don't need you to talk anymore. It's absurd. It's terrible. Robert, go kick rocks. <laughs> kick rocks, man. Gee. Elizabeth, just I, you know what? And here's the thing. I was getting ready to come in here this week and go, guys, we're giving Robert too hard of a time. No, 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 no. no. And then he doubled down on Monster. <laughs> like, twice. Just, yeah. just, yes. I, it was the meanest he's ever been. It's a mean, mean boy, for sure. Yep. Mean boy. Elizabeth, like, be a teacher for once in your life. Kick Robert out of your school. How many years has he been in your classroom? A hundred? Still <laughs> doesn't know his times tables? Just get him to the mine, for crying out loud. <laughs> So, son of a gun, man. This show's terrible. It's get awful. Him the, get him to the mines. Him to the mines. <laughs> get him to the mines. You're out of here. No to kidding. the mines. Somebody's got to do it. The mines. To just, the mines. <laughs> like, I mean, if, if we can kick a kid out of school, uh, you know, that, that other teacher kicked a kid out of school for... That's seeing, right. Yeah, for not the, being smart. Elizabeth can't kick a kid out of school for being a D-bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, show, this show sucks, and this, this, this episode sucks for this show. Because sometimes so, I think yeah. maybe Robert is That's so... Good. Maybe Robert's so dumb that he doesn't realize that he's being mean. No. But this episode proves that he no. does. No, 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 no. no he's just He a got in trouble kid, for man. making fun he's of the no kid good. with the glasses. And then when he found out that that was wrong, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, so sorry. Then goes into the school and does the four eyes thing with it. Yeah. He, no, he knows. Robert, no, he you knows. are a monster. He's just a horrible human. He's a horrible human. Who can be mean to Philip? Philip's the, adorable. just the cutest little kid. Well, yeah. Hope his eyesight works out. Oh, me Sheesh. too. Glaucoma is a son of a gun. Let's talk about all the fields. Tell me about it. <laughs> Rick? Hello. You got that? Oh, I didn't have it. No. My uh, my friend down at the bar. Who? Uh, Daryl. How's Daryl doing? Daryl Larbagon. Daryl. Daryl R. Larbagon. 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 La? You're not listening. Lobagon. 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 Yeah. Got it. Think we yeah. One too many? Yeah, maybe one too yeah. many. <laughs> yeah, he did. He got glaucoma. Is he doing okay? Uh, he fell asleep with a claw in his face, and the, they took him to the doctor. So I was like, you got a glaucoma. Glaucoma. <laughs> 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 
That's some of your worst stuff. It yeah. is my best stuff. <laughs> and don't make fun of Daryl Lavagon. Arbagon? Lavagon. 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 Got it. Glaucoma. Uh, Fields, guys, let's talk about it. Panda, what you got, pal? Yeah. Uh, poo, uh, <laughs> poo. Uh, <clears throat> so, as I was watching this episode, I was also eating some goldfish crackers. Yeah, you that was, yeah. it was really, yeah. um, it's the only show I've ever watched that actually made my goldfish crackers taste worse. And that's unfortunate. So I was a little sad about that. But overall, uh, that was the high point. I got to eat goldfish crackers while watching this. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, my all it feels where is you getting to eat goldfish crackers. <laughs> while you watch this. Um, my, my feels were another episode down. Only a few more to go. I'm excited about the future. We'll get to that later. Yeah, let's go. Every time someone says, every time we get a fan who's like, we really appreciate you watching these episodes, blah, blah, blah. Just if you could hold out until season and they list the season. Every time we get there, I just want to be like, you sit on a throne of lies because <laughs> we got there and it didn't get any better. Yeah. I, to me, when do you have to stop saying that before you acknowledge that you're your show sucks to the mind. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 people who sit there and like, Hey, if you could get past season one or you could get past it, I, I give them till you can't sit there and say, you got to wait till season three for it to pick up because if you're two no. seasons in, no. like no. that's too much. I'll you give you till, one season. You gotta wait till season eight. Yeah. Season eight is when it really, season turns eight around. is when it really comes around. Like, no, at this point your show's bad. I have had to the minds with people. You. Say, to this, the mines. This show should go to the minds. Send them to the minds. The, the whole mines. show. Everybody. Cravoy, the whole gang, send them to the mines. Preferably the part where there's no birds whistling. Well, there have there are people. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> too you dark. Wanted, you want them did to I die go too the, far? Yeah, you did. Yeah, Gowan. I just want them to work in the mines. I get killed. No, I want them to have a, son of a, a full and joyful life yeah. in the mines. <laughs> I don't think. Where they're not bothering me anymore. That's right. To the mines. I just want to say this to cap off this discussion about fans telling us to wait for this season. There are fans. We appreciate listening. Who have said, just wait until season six after Jack I, dies guys. for the love triangle. And my t my question to them is, how did you wait until then? What were you doing for five years to say the show finally got good in season six? But then think about all the people that once Jack got killed off, they were like, what's even the point? Yeah. yeah. I'm not so, watching this show anymore. Yeah, there were a lot of people who were mad. A lot of people. A lot of people. Mad. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back here in Dyke Homer. Lobagon? Lobagon. 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 Lobagon? Lobagon. Lobagon. Welcome back to Deck the Hallmark. What calls the heart? Uh, <laughs> season five, episode six. I hate my job. Uh, <laughs> they were talking about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That tracks. Because <laughs> every minute here is a minute away from selling four for twos and doing the things you're really That's passionate right. about. That's what I love. And I've been trying to let you know you don't like. I know that your contract is ironclad. We can't fire. Ironclad, you. can't do it. We can't fire. Right. You, but you can leave. Yeah. Well, I, I've actually been my other job selling the four for twos. Someday it just feels like a salt mine down there. Just going down selling the four for twos. You love selling the four for two. No, they sell themselves. It's easy. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not easy. My talent. You've, You've been telling me about you make the four a lot for of money. I make bank, baby. <laughs> Do you? Have, but you're a lot living of cheese, out. A lot of cashish. You make a cash, <laughs> greenback, slims. But you are big skins, <laughs> motorboats. <laughs> no. I don't. I <laughs> fat backs. Is there someone out there that calls money cash motorboats? Yeah. Yeah. Lobagon. <laughs> Daryl? Daryl Lobagon. He says, hey. He, he said, uh, uh, how much is that beer? And we're like, at six. He's like, six motorboats. I don't have that kind of cash on me. Really quick. A 10 second. I, we've been trying to sell this four for two to me for years now. Still yeah, don't get it. Yeah, yeah. Give me the quick. Yeah, you know George Foreman? Yes. Made a decent grill. Right. Flip it. Double it. Bring it back one time. <laughs> four for two. I'm not going to get into this. <laughs> But Flip it, double, double it, it, bring it back one time. What does it mean bring it back one time? No, you know what it that, means. That's the... Bring it back one oh time. Oh, my gosh. I feel like we're getting deeper in. Bring it back one time. How accurate is the sticker? Here's the thing is right now, if you order, you could save 50 motorboats. Really? <laughs> yeah. 
How what's the what's the dollar to mo- motorboat normally? ratio? A motorboat is a dollar. Can you listen for two <laughs> seconds in your how life? Many, how many motorboats is it normally? It's a, it's a bunch. What's happening? Oh, what's going There's on? There's a dessert at the door. Someone's at the door. There's a dessert at the door. Uh, well, let's get to the wait. What? While, while you go get that dessert, uh, Panda. What? How'd you wait? And wait, what? That was what. What's this? I don't know what this is. I think it's a preserve, but it could be a plate of cue. I don't know. This is Tropical Grill. Does she have a dessert? Get out there. Because I don't want... That's not <laughs> Tropical <laughs> I don't. I don't want someone's rice and beans. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. It was just some tropical chicken. And I was like, somebody has ordered a dessert for us. And it has come back tropical chicken. And it is as... You know how you know. You know how you know you're gonna get a good dessert is when they also, in the meantime, <laughs> picked up Tropical Grill. Oh my gosh, that does look that clutch. Is, uh, boy, there you have it. This is, uh, this is like a new one. The Oreo cookie. Oh man! <sighs> All right, let's do this. Uh, Wait, watch. It's time for the Wait Watch. It still show. smells like tropical grill in here. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's not good. It's it in is, here for a second, and gosh, it just it is just taking over the air. That curry, oh, the curry chicken, and I like with tropical dessert, grill, but I just woo woo. Thick. I like tropical grill, but I, I love tropical grill. Yeah, I don't like do it too. when I'm thinking dessert. <laughs> it just feel like I'm drinking the air in right oh now. Oh my boys. gosh, yeah, it's that rice. Combined. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just, who do you feel worse for? There. The person who got the cold tropical grill or the person who she got the literally cold? was walking to her that that woman was <laughs> bebopping. Well, first of all, she music had was a she hood. Playing. She has a hood on. Yeah. When I opened fine. the door, she had like a flat bill hat and a hood on. Right. And then she was like, Hey, I got a I got an order for you. <laughs> I was like, All right. She handed it to me and then I walked out there. She had not gotten to her car yet. Was that music coming from her car? It was coming from her phone. She was just bebopping along, man. Wow. That's awesome. We'd have never heard it. She'd have left it outside the door. It'd have been miserable. Can you imagine oh, just cold tropical grill? <laughs> How many motorboats did this cost somebody? Oh, so many. <laughs> How yeah. many motorboats does a dessert delivered? Oh, I don't know. I, I think the Run pizza's yet. like five ninety nine, and I bet you they paid another ten dollars delivery. So they are so sweet, right. though. God bless. Oh my gosh, that's that. so great. Just the best. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> All right, let's do the way what. Let's talk about the things in this um, episode of television, cinema. 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 Aww. That made us go away what? Panna, what you got? Uh, first of all, why doesn't Rosemary just say to Lee, hey, uh, Lee, I made, uh, I put a note, put a note on that, uh, th- I put a little note on the thing that you just used to mop up. That will have saved a lot of problems, will have solved a lot of issues, but she doesn't yep. do that. Instead, they don't. They continue to not communicate after we've already had multiple episodes about them not communicating. Uh, here's my question: Can the bank take <laughs> back a loan, even if he is paying it back on time? Because their explanation was, and I, I'm pretty sure this is a near direct quote. Yeah, we can. It's in the contract. If it's in the contract, they could do it. Obviously, but who signs that? Jack, Jack you dummy. Well, I don't know if you know this, but the town has made a lot of questionable handshake deals with the bank because the bank doesn't have, and I, I can't believe I'm saying this again, any money, <laughs> none. They're still operating with no money because that makes a lot of sense. That's not what would happen in this particular town. That guy can still show his face after losing everyone else's money and has the audacity to think that if someone pays cash for that land, he can just put that cash in the bank and act like it's normal. No, you'd be run out of town or shot on sight. Those would be your options. Yep. Instead, they're like, Jack and Liz are like, well, we got to honor our contract. Get out of here. That town Dumb. is ready to kill you. No kidding. Uh, here's, here's my thing. Um, uh, I can't even think of her name. Mayor, Abigail. She looks at Frank and she says, uh, what do you have so far for the sermon? And my man Frank says, just the Bible verse. He has a Bible verse so far. Uh, he's been sitting there for all, a long time. He can be it, man. He's, he's got Bible verse. Where are Philip's parents? Uh, Elizabeth's taking him to the eye doctor. They say it early in the they episode. Say that they're out of town they're doing, out of town doing the thing. And then he's staying with a different woman who is working and can't take him. 
They do say this in the okay. episode. Uh, I don't know where they are, but they that, say that's helpful. Um, my man, who's the doctor, can't even think. Paul uh, Green, uh, does he literally have a pair of glasses for every prescription that you need? He, like, just he pulls one out of nowhere. He just goes, try these on, and hey, they're a perfect fit. Perfect fit. I yeah. just. Um, and then finally, did Jenkins just turn into the worst human? Because it seems as if Jenkins, the banker, yeah. can in fact, based off of what we have seen, unilaterally decide whether or not he calls in a loan or not. It actually does it. The biggest plot twist in all this is that it's not the bank requiring him to take uh, the property. Jenkins is acting and sits there and is like, no, I'm going to take your property. And then all of a sudden he sits there and goes, well, no, you taught me out of it, Abigail. So it's really Jenkins. Jenkins is the but worst here's human. here's my thing about Jenkins is that if we allow the fact that they've let him stay in town, and if we allow the fact that he's still operating with no money, and if we allow the fact that Jack and Elizabeth were dumb enough to sign a contract saying that they have to give that back, the, the, the land back, then it serves the bank's best interest to take the land back and get a cash offer for it. Yes. Immediately. So my problem is not that Jenkins is the worst. It's that somehow the town hasn't run him out of town for literally not having any of their money. That is my issue. Not that he's around doing bank stuff. He clearly was shady to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I got a couple if you will. I'll bury the time. Thank you. I just want, listen, I'm not here to blame people. But the soup thing was Rosemary's fault. You don't fill bowls to the brim with soup. Yeah, that's just a bad that's idea. A, that's on ba- you, Rosemary. You don't do it. I brought you this cup one, of coffee to the no brim. No one <laughs> wants that much soup. No, 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 no. But no, two, no. like, you, that was to the brim. Any nudge would have caused red soup to go everywhere. everywhere. Now, if you're doing a clear soup, maybe you That's can get near to the brim. A zupa? <laughs> if you're doing a zupa, I think you could get by with it. You can it. get by with it. I love a good broth. Zupa. I love a good zupa. If you, it, my general rule is if it's a broth, take it to the top. <laughs> I thought that you said a broth, so a broth can go to the toff. The toff. The toff. Got it. Take it to the toff. Take it to the toff. Um, uh, this is my last one. Uh, the the whole note thing, they think that it says uh, Lucy. Ends up not being Lucy. No. But they're going around town, and no one in town knows a Lucy. I found that to be fascinating. A fascinating just character study. Well, tidbit. That no one in this town knows or has heard of a single Lucy. Not a one. Not a one. I'm not saying they're lying. I don't know how names were back then. But Lucy? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty easy one there. I don't know. That's tough. Dan? Um... We've covered a lot of mine. The bank doesn't have any money. Dr. Carson is a savant for guessing the glasses right the first time. Um, I do have a question. Did Cody and Robert invent the four eyes joke in this episode of television? (laughs) (laughs) Because because I want to be very clear. What happens is not this kid gets glasses and comes in and they go, hey, four eyes. They don't do that. They look at him. They go, your glasses look weird. Almost like you have four eyes. And then they laugh. Are they the ones? Are they the ones that started the four eyes jokes? Was it Robert being a no good B all the way back in 19 teens? <laughs> is that what happened? I, I, I guess. Um, you know what's wild is, is everyone in town is completely cash strapped aside from Lee. Lee mm-hmm. has cash to burn. He bought original run play tickets. That playhouse, not in Hope Valley, does not take credit. Mm-mm. Where's he getting this money from? Where's Rainy he day the, fund. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, clearly that he couldn't pay his workers with. Can't pay a salary, but yeah, here you go, everybody. Um, that's wild. Uh, and the last one is just really dumb. Bill Avery at the beginning of his plot line is reading a newspaper. It's a modern day newspaper. It's not an old timey really? newspaper at all. Yeah, sure is. That's all I got. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, Hopes and Valleys, everybody. Talk about things that are giving us hope for the future and or bumming us out. Panda. Bumming us out. Bizarre. Uh, Here's where I'm at. I would love to have, and hear me out, an episode or a show 
where Bill Avery is kind of doing a sign seal delivered bit where he is recovering dead letters oh and he is my. on going around Hope Valley, all 40 people that are there, and he is pinning a different letter with each one of them. Like he sits there and he's like, hey, I found this letter, wasn't addressed to anyone, but it says Timmy on it. And there's one Timmy in town, and that's you. And he just knocks on the door, he hands it to him, and it's that's the episode every week with Bill. Because I think that would be fun. <laughs> What's your rally? <laughs> valley the valley is, is that was his hope. <laughs> that was <the> <laughs> You're not wrong. That's all I got. <laughs> I feel like we are uh, creatively stagnant. What? What? No. No, Brandon. So I, for the first time in forever in my life, am excited for Jack to die Mm -hmm. so that hopefully these old stale stories (laughs) that Jack's not even necessarily the center of, but it gives them the opportunity to say, let's... Let's just see where the wind takes us here this week. I'm I'm hopeful that next season and the seasons beyond will give us uh, some really uh, in, interesting and entertaining stuff. I want to kind of rewatch all the Christmas movies again, just so we can kind of like wrap our minds. No around chance. What's happening. No chance in hell. Uh, I I will say this. Uh, I'm convinced now more than ever that uh, they were really mad at Daniel Lissing and just decided to give him as little to do as possible because they sent him off and you were like, no, 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 they could have blah, blah, blah. But they are. it is evident that they don't want him on the show anymore because they're mad. He didn't want to renew his contract and that screwed up everything for them. I, I forgot, I literally forgot he was in this episode of television. Like he's yeah. in like two scenes. That's it. Like the 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 hope is nothing. The valley is this is worse than we originally, you know, feared. I, mm-hmm. It just is bad. It's it's bad. It's bad television, and they're not even utilizing what's probably their best actor in in the process, yeah, which is true. terrible. It's all they're I got. Doing a lot with Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Le- okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Buddy. Uh, pocket watch. No. No. Uh, Smolder. Uh, two. Three, maybe. I don't know. Two and a dime. Two and a dime. <laughs> uh, uh, Shepherd pie no. watch. No. no. Uh, all right. Ooh, Robert writing. Robert getting writing. Real. Getting real. Panda. Man, I he he's just a Use stone your cold jerk. Uh, Can you bring your mic back to you closer. You moved it away from yeah. Sorry, dessert. no. And yeah, that, then that's more than that's fair. fair. That's yeah. fair. Oh. I gotta do. Uh, I gotta do nine. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, a guy I knew named Adam. <laughs> you keep doing this thing. <laughs> this is where you're just making up a name and it's, you don't give the last name. It works mm-hmm. out well. Huh? I forgot his last name. I don't know what to tell you. He, he was uh, mean to me though. Yeah, I'm sorry. I swear it's a true story. He was mean. <laughs> made fun of my bowling ball. Your bowling ball? Yeah. Made fun of my bowling ball. Did so you was, have your own bowling ball? I did have my own bowling ball. I think ball. that's that's fair game, I think, <laughs> at that point, right? I was very Although, proud of it. Although, to be fair, in the 50s and 60s, you had your own bowling ball. <laughs> you, uh, That was rare. That was a rare. Oh, boy. It was a 10-pound uh, lightning strike. It's really what it was. 10 pounds of pure. What's your best bowling game ever? Not great. Why did you have your own ball? I don't know. It seemed like the right thing to do at the time. <laughs> Did you purchase it with your own money? No, my parents bought it for me. It was a. Uh, I think I bowled at one ten once. Oh boy, Adam, good looking out, buddy. <laughs> Listen, Adam, you could go kick rocks. I've I got to be what honest about my bowling ball. I can't believe I'm doing this this early. Robert is a full brain in Kaiser. Yeah, it's a full ten, right? You're using my brain. You Kaiser. said I had to do it a rating of. Oh, Jesus to Brandon Kaiser. No, okay. Brandon Kaiser. Yeah. It's yeah. T- Brandon Kaiser is the answer. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't know him, but he clearly can go kick rocks. To be clear, I think Brandon's doing great things in life. Brandon, go kick rocks. Brandon. Brandon. This Brandon. is why we don't use last names. No, no, no. I'm just saying, Brandon Kaiser, you're listening. I think you're, I'm sure you're doing great. I think he's like a nurse now. Um, But ben, when he was a kid, he was a full Robert. Full Robert. Robert was a brand. Kaiser brand. Kaiser was full Robert. Yeah, mm. he's a brand. This is the worst I've ever seen 
Robert. Uh, it's time for the mines. <laughs> send them to the mines. To the mi- to the mines. Mm. Should I put that on a shirt? Either? To the mines. I don't know. It's one episode. We tried it with Orbs of War. It didn't work out so well. Or whatever. That was. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, speak uh, for yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, a lot of Orbs of War shirts yeah. for sure. Um, uh, what do we got for the what's calling my heart? What's calling my heart? Hello at deckthehomer.com. You can tell us what's calling your heart. Just like Brian Harold, who says, season's greetings. Okay. <laughs> what's calling my heart is that I heard on a signed, sealed, delivered podcast episode that Rick Dilby is not pro cargo short. <laughs> this was This shocking. is recent. Yeah. This is our last one. If okay. You, now's your chance to get in on what's calling my heart. We've never had to make up an email since like the first episode. This is your chance again. This week is your chance. Write an email. Hello at the We'll read it next week. Um, when I close my eyes at night and make a wish to share a cream slosh sickle with rig, which I believe is cream soda, diet Coke, Mexican Coke, Coke, Tito's gin, homemade with my buddy's cousin Tito's basement, and, and then a handful of ice shavings from the bottom of the ice bin to make it slosh real nice. Yes, that is what I that, That's correct. <laughs> that's a cream slosh sickle. How did he know? Sometimes you can go with vodka as well. Stoli vodka. It's vodka that you stole from down the road. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't always give me that Rick Dilby, <laughs> but every once in a while, <laughs> I didn't see it coming. <laughs> I didn't either. I don't even think Rick did. <laughs> I, I, I didn't either. I got to be honest. Oh my gosh! Oh man, Stoli vodka. <laughs> Stoli from down the road. <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's good man, stuff. Rick is man. He's a treat. Uh, I picture a brawny silhouette with a gorgeous jean shallot mustache, a ciggy in one hand and the other hand in the pocket of desert sand colored cargo shorts. Surely he'd be a fan of how cargo shorts can hold various necessary resources that could be useful in any unexpected situation. No. Could I get some clarity about Riggs' feelings toward cargo shorts and cargo pants? Have Riggs' feelings changed since he recorded the, that episode of the Joe Rogan podcast? Not that Joe Rogan. <laughs> or, <laughs> or, or is he anti-cargo shorts <laughs> through and through, sincerely, sincerely, sincerely a concerned double-decker I joined at BrambleJamPlus.com? <laughs> wow. That's great. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we can try. Rig, uh, you have any thoughts about this? This is, tr- this is true. The, real quick, Rig. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you. No, off. you're fine. We you do whatever. It's what you do. <laughs> Thank you, Rig. <laughs> <laughs> Seems very personal. Um, this this episode was Not from last... You hate your job. <laughs> this episode was from last week, but it was a clip from the Joe Rogan podcast, not that Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we don't know when that episode aired. So maybe rig that would also help give some clarity. I think to the people that are, we're taken aback by this. Um, well, it's easy. My stance has not changed. I am not pro cargo short. I adore cargo pants though. Cargo pants are the true legitimate gentleman's choice in leisure wear below the belt. <laughs> cargo pants. You want long enough, no matter what kind of weather you're in, or if you have to sleep outside, you know what I'm talking about? Sure. <laughs> sure, you got big, big, giant pockets to hold as much of the things you need. I can fit thousands of motorboats in those pockets. <laughs> <laughs> but what's your beef with the short version? Ah, uh, you're just being lazy. Don't half A it. You don't want to half A things. Well, want full A. <laughs> what's half A mean? Half, uh, half abacus. <laughs> That's true. That's yeah. true. You can only count so far with shorts on. Yeah. Wait, you can only count so You heard far. me. Read a book. Full cargo pants, Brian. Thanks for your questions. I'm out. How's Joe doing? Joe Rogan? Not yeah. that one. Right. He's doing great. Great. Or as I know. Looking at season two, maybe. Really? Gonna wait for Joe Rogan to get in the news again. So next week will probably be great. <laughs> Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with Sign Seal delivered another one. Can't wait till then. Until then, <laughs> maybe we'll be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com.
It's your last chance to check everything off your list at NFM. Get savings in every department. Shop in-stock gifts like toys, electronics, appliances, and furniture. NFM gift cards make amazing presents. Save time with drive through pickup. Get 30-month financing on qualifying appliance, TV, and audio purchases. And 24-month financing store-wide at NFM. Store closing early Christmas Eve and close Christmas. Visit NFM for your chance to win a Tesla Model Y. Minimum monthly payments required. 18% APR. Some exclusions apply. See store for details.